God really did say, when you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. <sighs> Let's talk about this. In Psalms 37, yeah, there are nuggets, there are teachings, there are promises, there are, you know, guidance for us, right? And one of the scriptures that just have been standing out to me lately is delighting in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. Because what happened was that, you know, of course, when you read this with a worldly view, you're thinking God's going to provide that car, you know, that job, all these things. And in reality, it ain't nothing about that. What's going on is that your desires begin to align with what God desires, right? God desires us to love our neighbors. God desires for us to serve and be a testimony. God desires us to believe in him and trust in him. God desires so many things, right? For our relationship, our livelihood, God is life. And so I'm like, our desires should be aligned with God. And so it's just like, what? let's talk about delighting. When we delight in God, when we delight in the Lord, we are spending so much time. We are basking in his presence. We are soaking in his word. You guys, like, let me tell you, back in the end of August, God led me to close the bookstore. So I had this bookstore and I was working it nonstop. I was working all the time. I was always sick. I just, my focus was on that bookstore. I wanted to win. I wanted it to be great. I wanted it to be grand. And that was the wrong desire, right? And so God was like, you know what? We need to let this bookstore go. And it was a blessing because all of a sudden I was able to have time to spend in his presence. And I've never experienced this before. Like this time at my age, like I grew up in the church, but it never was like this. It was never transformative because I was just doing it because church said, read the Bible, do this, do that. It wasn't self-desire. Like I didn't want, I didn't crave to be there, right? And so now as an adult, I crave it. I crave to study his word. So like I get excited. I have my bin of markers and highlighters and pens and pencils. I have all of these journals. I have like, it's just, I get excited. And I, when I am, when I'm like, yo, it's time to study the word, I get like, I get real giddy. I get real giddy, okay? And so that is like one of the ways you delight yourself in the Lord is, you know, really wanting to study his word and be in it, right? And so then we can set the atmosphere as well, right? So if we want to delight ourselves in the Lord, we want to make sure that we're listening to godly things, right? So let me tell you, so there's so much that I want to talk about. So I have been studying the word and I've been finding, you know, people who are, you know, teaching Christianity stuff on YouTube. But what was happening, I started shifting. I kind of like fell off a little bit because all of a sudden I started listening to people who were kind of like yelling and talking about certain people like don't listen to this preacher don't it was it turned into gossip right it was just like this preacher's doing this that and the other and i understand that you know we need to know which you know preachers to follow or not right but i got really stuck in it and i was just like oh yeah don't listen to this preacher and it just became messy and i was like mm. so i wanted to make sure that i focus on the right type of you know sermons or youtube videos that are that, that say that they you know are for god but then sometimes it looks like it's for self-pleasure right like all of a sudden you get a bazillion views on this one topic because you're talking about a certain preacher who was you know doing some crazy things and then you start keeping, you, you, you keep building on that because you're like, oh, I like that. And you know, with YouTube, people are making a living, right? And so I can understand how that can get exciting for them. And I was just like, oh, I need to protect my peace because I'm not here to, you know, listen to the gossip of the Christian world. Like I understand there are teachings, there are people saying, you know, you shouldn't listen to this, that and the other, but for you to like try and 
monetize on that in a selfish way that, that kind of distorts things, right? So I wanted to make sure that whatever I was watching, you know, aligned with what God wanted me to do. Like maybe that's good for someone, but it ain't good for me, okay? And so another thing when you delight yourself in the Lord is that you want to fix your mind on those good things, right? So in Philippians 4, 8, you know, he's saying that we are supposed to focus, fix our eyes on things that are pure and holy, right? And admirable. You know, and so like when I was watching those videos, that wasn't holy, that wasn't admirable, that wasn't, you know, pure. It was gossip. And I was just like, okay, let's back up and redirect our focus, right? And so I had to start unfollowing some Christian podcasters and YouTubers because it became too messy for me. So one of the really cool things that has happened to me when I began delighting myself in the Lord and him giving me the desires of my heart, like I just wanted to sit in his presence all day, every day. I wanted to have that quiet time. And I am definitely blessed to have the opportunity to sit and read the word unrushed, right? Without any distraction. I have a few distractions, but it's not so bad where it's like, oh my gosh, I can't study. It's just like, we're gonna continue once I get this distraction over and keep going, right? Um, and so I was blessed with a job, right? So let me tell you. So I've been delighting myself in the Lord and he's been giving me the desires of my heart. And remember, your desires begin to align with God when you're delighting yourself in the Lord, right? And so my desire was to be sitting in front of God. I was just like, God, I just wanna be in your presence. I wanna soak in you all day, every day. I wanna listen to the word. I want to praise you, do worship. I wanna listen to the music without feeling, you know, like I can't because I have to do a bazillion other things. Like if I were to go back into the classroom, it would be a challenge right and I just did not want that and God so my desire was to be able to sit in his presence and let me tell y'all my bank account got on E like it was on E and I was like God I need a job but I don't want just any old job I want a job that will allow me to you know be in your presence like I had you know stipulations and God blessed me with that job God said okay bet you said you want to sit in my presence well let's go ahead and do this and so bless me with a job so that I can you know sit at home study you know do multitask be able to listen to the word and be in the comfort of my own home and that is a beautiful thing that is a beautiful thing and so because I've been sitting in this presence you know delighting and basking things began to shift for me like there has been a huge transformation and as you can tell i've been doing more you know christian and faith-based content and so like my desires you know used to be bougie black blogger let's talk about how this wine tastes right let's talk about the you know whatever i was talking about a lot of the stuff that i talked about was all about self-love and self-care and living your best life and da -da 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 -da, right and all of that pointed to self self as the god right self as who i am trying to be the best self of me right like so it didn't have god as the head right and so all of a sudden i was like oh my desire started shifting i was like i don't want to push that i don't want to push that that's not how it's supposed to be and so i want to make sure that my content points to jesus jesus is the head right the father the son the holy spirit like that is what i want to put out there the content that i want to put out there is to help people live more godly lives, right? That Christian lifestyle, right? And it's just so wild. So you can see that I changed a lot of things and I'm still in that transformation stage. So you'll still see bougieblackblogger.com uh, or, you know, and then I have, <laughs> Then I have like my logo with me drinking a glass of wine and I'm just like, oh my gosh, we gotta change that too. So it's slowly but surely the process is happening, but it's just it's just wild how when you delight yourself in the Lord and you're reading, like not just reading the Bible, but really reading and studying it and allowing the living word to like really medit like stick inside of you and you know allow God to guide your footsteps and then all of a sudden like just things start changing and you, you do things differently, right? And so that is like one of the blessings of just sitting and delighting in God and 
those desires like okay my desire it's just it's it's funny like I just laugh every time because I'm just like yo like I didn't think I was gonna be doing you know Christian content just like three years ago I was like mm, I ain't, I don't go to church I don't do this like there was a time when my mom was like I need you to teach vacation Bible school and I didn't want to do it because I'm just like I don't, I don't want to teach the Bible I don't want like I'm not for this and it was really deep like I didn't want to do it so my selfish self said say that five times fast um we are going to teach this passage but in ed academically but God still used me, right? God used me because they were all, t like, it. it's so funny. God will put you in places. He will be messing with you. He'll be like, you know, you're going to do this. You And, of course, I have to do what my mama tells me to do, right? And so I did it academically, like, but it was like, it definitely put some seeds in me. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, God, you've been working. You've been working this whole entire time and you know I had no idea and so like when I look back and to see like all the people that have been in my life blessing me and showing me you know what it's like to be a godly woman or man and live proudly and boldly in that and I'm just like oh, that's cool that's really cool yes Anyway, so I'm just like, yo, if you, if, if you don't leave with anything, I want you to leave with this, okay? I just really want you to carve out time, at least 30, 40 minutes of uninterrupted time. And I understand like, you know, you probably only got like five minutes to spare, but we gotta figure out like how we can sit in his presence on you know interrupted off our phones just really diving deep into the word like what ways can we do that and i would pray be like be like god what needs to be moved can you move some things out of my world my life that does not align with what you want from me that does not align with who you are right there's a lot of things that we do that god's like i don't want you to really do that or i didn't ask you to do that or you know you're doing too much right and so like asking god to show you what needs to be removed or just telling him please remove these things and he will do that and just get ready get ready get ready because he will move some things that you did not expect and it'll be good like do not feel like it's bad like it is not a loss it is not a loss. You gain what you gain everything when you give it all to God, right? One of my scriptures that I love. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So, like right now, you may be like bogged down with so many different things, but if you let God move some things, He's gonna put a path in that mess so that you can exit on out there or move things around like it's a beautiful thing like it's about to spring up so get ready okay get ready so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below like i want to know what transformation you've been going through as you sit at his feet let me know like what you want like how do you want your relationship to god with god to go like do you really want it? Do you want that transformation? Do you want, you know, your desires to be aligned with God's desires? Let me know. Chat with y'all later. Peace and blessings, and I love y'all. Now, don't forget, we have the Patreon and Facebook community. I absolutely love both of them. The Patreon gets deep. It gets deep. We do a lot of workshops. There are worksheets, you know, devotionals and so much more facebook is a little more lighthearted, where we do like just inspirational posts we do you know a live bible study fellowship on tuesdays and that goes with the patreon community as well so if you want to join us come on through